In this video, how to use Keel software for assembly language of 8051 programming is explained. Now first download latest version of Keel Click on the Keel icon on your desktop. This software window will be open. First create a project. So to create a project, click on project menu, click on new kill project, then first create any folder where you want to store your project. So one folder is created here. So I have given name to this folder as my project one. Open this folder and store here project of kill. So name I have given is first one. Save this project without extension. Now here Microcontroller manufacturers are listed. You have to select a particular microcontroller. So I am selecting AT80C51RD2. So select the controller. Here you can observe specifications of that particular controller. Click on OK. And here message is displayed copy startup.a51 to project folder and add file to project. Click on no. So here target one that is project first is created. And here in target one you can observe source group one. Now click on file menu. Click on new. This text one file is created. You can save this file. So click on save. In the same project folder, save this file with the name. I am giving name, same name as first one. And since we are writing assembly language program, save this file with extension ASM. So here first one dot ASM file we can observe. Now you can type program here or before that we will include or add this file in the project. So for that click on source group one. Right click here. Add existing files to group source group one. Click on this menu. Search for this file ASM file. So for that file type select asm file type you will observe our dot asm file click here and click on add click on close button so you can see this first one dot asm is added into source group one of project first one now we can type our program so first line is assembler directive org so our program will start from memory location 00H. Move A comma hash 23H. 23H is stored in accumulator. Move R0 comma hash 45H. 45H is stored in resistor R0. And we'll add these two numbers. So add a comma r0. So addition result will be stored in accumulator. End this program. Now save this file. And then click on project. Save this file and to build a program. Now build option is given here, build F7 or 
you can click on target right click here you will see this two options build target rebuild all target files so we'll build this target here you can observe error and warnings after building a program if no error is there that means program is proper we can debug a program if any error is there then you have to check for the error and change the program accordingly so after this we can debug our program so for that click on debug menu click on start top stop debug session so since we are using free uh, software the code, source code limit is up to 2 kilobyte so click on this here we can observe two windows for this program so this is our program and here you can see the instruction so this is our instruction move r0 comma hash 0x45h this is the opcode of instruction 78 is the opcode of move r0 and 45 is image eight number so this instruction is stored at memory location 0002h since this instruction is a two byte next instruction will be stored at memory location 0004h so add instruction is stored here so this is our next instruction first instruction this is move a instruction and this is the opcode of move a instruction so this or add a comma r0 is one byte instruction so this is opcode of this instruction now we can debug this program and observe the content of register on this left side you can observe the values stored in all registers of 8051 r0 r1 a b all these registers values are here the sp stack pointer is pointing initially to 07h now to execute this program step by step you can go to debug and you can check this step by step execution means f11 so we can press f11 and you can observe so press f11 and check result first instruction is executed so 23h is stored in accumulator press f11 second instruction is executed 45h is stored in r0 press f11 this add instruction ex executed and result is stored in accumulator now to end this debug section click on debug click on start of button station session so now you can again find this editor menu so this is how we can write build and execute or debug our program so uh, let us check output of other program i have already copied other program that is led flashing program so i'll paste that code here here in accumulator aa is stored and this data is placed on port p0 that is alternate led will glow we are calling delay and complementing accumulator so this program is to flash alternate leds of port p0 this is a delay program so save this file build the program so no error is we can debug program now since we are using here peripheral we want to observe contents on port p0 click on peripheral here you can observe io ports so p0 we are using so you can click here so here we can observe data on port p0 we will directly execute this program so click on run option and observe the output the alternate leds are flashing right click means logic 1 is available at port pin so this is the program of led flashing click on debug and you can stop this debug session you can click on project and click on options for 
target target one so here you can change the frequency of operation of microcontroller so i'll type here 11.0592 megahertz one more change we have to do so click on this output tab and click on create hex file this will create hex file for our program click on okay and you can save this okay so hex file will be created for this particular program so this is how we can execute assembly language program thank you for watching this video